All right. For people that's not familiar with it, this is basically the screen you're going to see when you open up the fire stick as soon as you plug it in. This will be the home screen. What you do is you scroll over the settings. Once you get the settings, you're going to go down. And you're going to go on your network to make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi. You click whichever one is your Wi-Fi. Put in your code. Then you'll be connected. You back out. Then you can go to your applications. Manage install applications. Scroll down. You'll see different type of apps. We can get into those later. A nice wide variety of them. But we're going to start off with Cody. Starts with a K. You're going to click it. Then you're going to launch application. Once you launch application, it should look something just like this. You'll have different sections. You'll have a cartoon section. You'll have a TV show section. With basically any content you can think of, new content also is released on the same day that it comes out. You'll have a movie section. Any movie you can also think of, even Netflix and Hulu content, and in theater movies. As you can see, you can just go through the list. Just a people watching list, mix of old movies and new movies. Then you also have a live TV. You also got sports TV. And you got the kickoffs. This is all sports TV and kickoffs is all for sports and pay-per-view events all the time. You have a music section also. You can go in here and jam out to whatever you like, whether it be Kendrick Lamar, Katy Perry, whoever it is. You got a settings to where you can go into maintenance. You can click on it and you can go delete catch maybe once a week, maybe. Back out of that. Got your power button also. Very simple to use though. Very extremely simple. You can go in here. If you want to watch one of these movies, let's say, get out. You can easily click on it from the top widget, or you can go inside the programs by itself and go search a movie, or however you want to do it. Very simple. You give it a second, let it scrape up the links. Time elapsed. Just scraping up every link from the movie that it has. As you can see, there are plenty. I'm just going to start from the first one. You'll see that working time right there. You can also tap that circle on your remote. It'll bring up the options that you can stop, press pause, play, fast forward, next chapter. You can go over here, adjust your sounds. There's a lot of different things you can do. Subtitles. stop it and there you go you're back at the main screen um, same thing goes for the live TV the sports and the kickoffs also you got sports devil that'll be where most of your NBA baseball basketball hockey everything will really be up in here it's pretty excellent you just go to the live sports section and a lot of you people may be familiar with some of these apps and programs but um the difference with mine is mine stay updated. You won't have to worry about something going out or not working, and I will always help you and direct you to exactly where you need to go. But these three right here, very reliable. Pretty reliable right here, too. You can back out. 
You usually go in those, it'll tell you the date and the time of the events and when everything happens and it only shows when it's live. But I guarantee you will watch whatever content you need to watch because I will be watching pay-per-view tonight. The Canelo fight. There's a lot of different things on here. Um, cartoons is basically the same way. You go in here, you just click, click and go. Um, just stuff kids love. Teen Titans go. Plenty of episodes on here. I'll just click a random one. Um, yeah, so that'll keep them entertained also. And we have plenty of kids movies on here. A lot of XXX content. Plenty of it.